Hello, mummers. I've got a, another question today, and today's question is, how do I curb my cravings? This, uh, this topic, it, it attracts a lot of attention. Uh, you'll pre be pretty hard-pressed not to be able to find a meme or an infographic that explains what to eat when you have a certain type of craving. Uh, you know, if you're craving chocolate, eat spinach. If you're uh, craving sugar, eat dirt. Like, there's all of this stuff that goes around, and I, quite, I find it, kind of find it quite amusing uh, because of just how nitty-gritty and, and detailed uh, the cons consumers of information are. Uh, kind of get into that they and you know you might find yourself doing the same thing i know i did especially when i wanted to learn something new like back if i think all the way back to when i tried to learn how to get into shape man i wanted to know everything every little nitty-gritty detail and i probably focused on the wrong things and if you go by the 80 20 rule uh 80 of what you focus on will only deliver you 20 percent of the result uh the 20 percent the small amount uh if you can focus on that that'll give you 80 percent of the result and you know, the same goes with Megan when Megan met me. Uh, Megan, you know, she was in good shape, uh, but she wasn't in great shape, right? Uh, and be, because, you know, she hadn't actually added uh, certain elements to her lifestyle that brought out that epic body that she, um, you know, she, she built uh, two years after having Lokes. Uh, but getting back on track with cravings, it's, uh, it's kind of... It's kind of this uh, this topic where it can be drowned out by uh, a lot of a lot of uh, information and, and um, a lot of you know uh, just over the top uh, kind of stuff. You have pills and you have shakes and you have uh, all of these things to stop hunger, uh, to stop uh, signals to your brain to tell you to do something, and, and that's essentially what a craving is. So a craving is a sign or a signal that your body sends to your brain to tell you that you're not getting enough of something, okay? Uh, and the, the, there's a way to think about this. Um, when thinking about how to kind of react to that signal that your body's sending you, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, well, uh, what am I craving? Because chances are, if, if you're craving carbohydrates, if you're craving something that gives you energy really quickly, chances are it's because uh, you don't have enough energy. And you may not have enough energy for a couple of different reasons. The first being that you haven't slept well the night before. Now, this is, uh, this is a plague of, on mums. Because it's not as if you can say to your babies, whether they're three months old or three years old or... You know, sometimes 13 years old, uh, to go to sleep, bum your knees, um, to sleep. Maybe in that 13-year-old, uh, you can. You can certainly do that. But uh, going back to us having Logs, and even when Miri started, uh, you know, not sleeping, it wasn't as if we could say, oh, look, you know, we're really struggling here, go to sleep. So uh, I'm, as I'm saying this, I know sleep sometimes feels as though it's out of your control, but there are certainly some steps that you can take to improve your sleep quality and what you do when you what happens when you improve your sleep quality is you actually uh, down regulate your body's response to craving carbohydrates see when you have an impaired sleep uh, you end up getting an impaired carbohydrate metabolism which basically means your body can't utilize the carbohydrates that it's getting effectively now the only source of energy for your brain is glucose uh, and, there, and therefore, if your body's ability to produce uh, glucose and send it up to your brain is impaired, then you can ingest as much sugar and carbs as you like. Your brain's not getting it. Your brain's going to keep telling your body to get more, and then you get that vicious cycle of your brain telling you to have more carbs, and then all of a sudden, you're, uh, you know, you're eating it all, but your brain's not getting it, and your tummy's getting it, okay? So this is, this is the first thing you want to do. If you have um, impaired sleep, the first thing you want to do is improve sleep quality. Uh, screen time, okay? Get rid of screen time uh, before bed, you know, at least an hour before. Read, do something that's going to wind you down, something that's going to get you out of your head. Uh, I love recommending reading because what reading does is it, it replaces your internal dialogue. So the stuff that you're thinking about 
and you're talking to yourself about with somebody else's dialogue. And if you do that, and you do that long enough, it may not work the first night, the second night, but 30 nights later, 60 nights later, if you're consistent with it, eventually what you'll do is you get out of your head and you start to improve that sleep quality. The second uh, thing you can do to curb your cravings is to eat more. Chances are, and this is for uh, the majority of mums that I speak to, you're not eating in the morning and you're catching up on all your energy at night. Now, what we know about uh, catching up on food is that you'll tend to overeat by about 30% every time you're hungry. So if you're hungry and you're catching up on the day's worth of food in a small window, you're going to overeat by about 30%, okay, and therefore obviously be 30% heavier than you should be. Um, you know, and that could be very, that could be 10, 15 kilos uh, at, at, you know, at, at the end of the day uh, when the equation is all said and done. You could very well be 10 to 15 kilos of weight because of one thing, and that's just not eating, it's not sleeping and not eating enough uh, at, at the start of the day. And if you think about this, it's linear because if you're not sleep, uh, sleeped and well rested uh, from the night before, you're not going to be prepared and planned and, and likely to eat something for breakfast. So you'll skip breakfast, you'll go along on your day, you grab a muffin maybe or something like that, and then as the day goes on, you're kind of like, oh crap, I forgot to eat, and bang, gorge, right? Um, so eating more throughout the day, that means having a structured meal at least when you get up, okay? At least when you have breakfast. Breakfast is the best time of day. Uh, we love breakfast. We love breakfast so much. We have first breakfast, second breakfast, uh, even third breakfast sometimes. Uh, no, that's, that's going a bit overboard. But as you can see, uh, you know, if you look at all the fit and strong people out there, a huge amount of them actually eat breakfast. Uh, breakfast is a powerful trigger for your metabolism. The third thing that you can do is actually imp uh, it's increasing your protein, all right? Because so, what protein does is it uh, increases satiety levels. So uh, that's a very scientific way of just saying you feel fuller for longer. Adding protein in every meal so that when you're eating foods, you're not just eating an apple or uh, you know, you're not just eating some cheese and biscuits uh, or you're not just eating like some hummus and some carrot sticks. I mean, I... I, I I talk to mums, mums tell me they eat healthier than they say, I eat carrots and hummus, and I'm like, WTF, like that's just the idea that most people have of what eating healthy is, it's not eating healthy, that's just eating like a rabbit, uh, you're not a rabbit the last time, you know, the last time you checked in the mirror, did you have whiskers? Likely not, right? So increase your protein you are a human being uh, you are an omnivore you your brain developed through evolution and it jumped light speeds ahead of the um, a monkey's brain a monkey's brain to a human's brain the the significant difference is the fact that humans started cooking uh, cooking uh, food and specifically started cooking meat when you cook meat the energy in that meal, the nutrition in that meal, it becomes readily accessible uh, to the body and the body takes that up really quickly, okay? Uh, and what protein does is it stabilizes blood sugar levels in the blood. Uh, it also uh, increases all of your youthful, youthful hormones inside of your body. So hair, skin, nails. A lot of mums who get uh, really lean and work on this with me for at least six to 12 months start to notice in their skin, their hair, their nails that they it's growing stronger and not as many breakages in their hair. Uh, nails are stronger and longer, right? All of this stuff starts happening because they start feeding their body what they need. So to recap on this, because I, I went on a bit of a tangent at the start, I'll probably cut that out if I publish this, um, but I, I'll consolidate this to, to curb cravings. And hey, if you're on the line, give me a wave, um, say hi, let me know who you are. Uh, and comment below if you're getting any revelations or you're learning something here. The three things that I want you to think of when curbing cravings. The first thing is, am I getting quality sleep? If you're not, read a book before bed, turn off the screen, um, and have, have at least an hour buffer between you watching and looking at a screen and going to bed. Number two, eat more throughout the day, specifically at the start of the day. When you eat more at the start of the day, then you're not going to catch up on the food at the end of the day. You're not going to feel like you need to gorge yourself and catch up uh, and, and overeat by about 30%, right? And this is what happens. Uh, and then number three, increase protein. Uh, include protein in every meal. And when I say protein, I mean something that has come from an animal. If you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, then obviously you would eat within those restrictions. Knowing that it's going to be harder for you to lose weight because you don't have 
those animal proteins to regulate your you know your blood sugar levels it doesn't mean that it can't be done it just means you need to eat a lot more uh, plant food you need to munch and crunch a lot more uh, and you need to find sources of protein in alternate places like nuts and legumes and, and all of that kind of stuff as well which is doable like okay, I've seen people do it before so there you go that is how to curb cravings uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope this helps for any of you who are right now following a meal plan if you are following a meal plan only uh, know that it's only short term uh, you'll only be able to do it for so long and then you're going to have to come off it Okay, uh, solving this problem is part of coming off it but not going and blowing out uh, it's, it's actually progressing forward so a meal plan is a snapshot in time uh, as you get fitter stronger you'll need to eat more uh, and you know you'll never actually see any of our clients eat less we never restrict them we never bring the calories down we never bring the macros down we, if anything we actually bring them up